everybody, it's Matt from Union Horror Movies, and welcome to another end of the month review. Uh, end of the month haul, sorry. <laughs> I had a review on my mind. Uh, the reason why I have a review on my mind is because coming up, since I haven't done any videos in a while, I'm going to be doing again the 31 Days of Horror, where I'll be doing a review a day for the month of October. So 31, rev 31 reviews in 31 days. I did it last year, I had a lot of fun, so I'm going to do it again. So this will be my second time doing it, <laughs> so yeah. Wish me luck on that one. Alright guys, let's get on with my haul. These are the DVDs and Blu-rays I picked up for the month of September. All horror, sci-fi, fantasy, all that fun shit. Uh, first we picked up. Uh, Blu-ray's been always out of print. And I finally found a, a scored one cheap on Amazon, which I was shocked. I had the DVD, so I upgraded. That was called Alien Trespass. Uh, it's a nice throwback to the old sci-fi fantasy horror films from the 50s and 60s. Strongly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Cheesy fun goodness. Uh, this one uh, <clears throat> was a while they sent it to me, which I was kind of shocked. It looks interesting. It's called uh, Animalistic. I still have it sealed. i got to open it up. Uh, it looks like it says, it says, Walks between the, right, the waters of I Spit on Your Grave and Last House on the Left. Hmm. All right. So it's like a revenge type film. Looks interesting. So we'll give this one a watch. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, I picked this up at <laughs> Family Video. There's actually one close to me, which is pretty cool. It's like a 14 minute drive. And sometimes they have films for sale. So I picked up Be Afraid. Looks like a uh, Shadow Man. Uh, maybe it's a type of creature feature. I don't know. I paid like three bucks for it. If anybody's seen it, let me know. Uh, sorry for the glare here, but. I don't know much I can do, but if you've seen Be Afraid, let me know. So it looks pretty neat for the price. Couldn't pass it up. And for the price, found this at Soundgarden for seven bucks used. It's always on, it's always expensive on Amazon and eBay. I finally scored a copy of Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. <laughs> this movie was a lot of fun. It's a slasher. It makes fun of other slashers type thing. Very bloody, very gory. Um it's got, what's his face in it? Oh my god. Come on. I know Ron Jeremy plays Jesus. <laughs> but uh, Reddy Bannister from Phantasm is in this movie. He plays a priest. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Very goofy. Fun uh, horror slasher comedy. So definitely recommend it. Next is uh, Blue Raven After. Um, it comes from Australia. So it's Region B. But I got it through Amazon, through Amazon, I got it through eBay from a local seller, brand new, shipped and everything for free. I'm like, okay, so I don't have to worry about spending the insane shipping from Australia. I don't have to wait forever, so it took several days to get here. And, oh, finally, I have a copy of Boar. I love this movie. Uh, supposedly it is getting a release around here in the States, but who knows, it might just go directly to DVD or not, I don't know. But I'm just very happy to have a copy of Boar. Uh, <laughs> this, this boar is fucking insane. Uh, I've watched it twice already. This is so much fun. There are some, it's mostly uh, practical, but there are some CGI. But after watching some of the special features, it took like six guys to operate this fake uh, boar. So, of course, certain scenes you need to use CGI, but they use all, mostly all practical. Fun flick. If you like Razor Pack, Razor Back, you love this. Uh, next, from Vinegar Syndrome, good old Body Melt. Been after this one for a while. <clears throat> I'm glad I held off on buying the DVD. Then the DVD kind of went insane price or, you know, code red prices. So, Vinegar Syndrome released this on Blu-ray. Awesome slip. It does have reversible cover art, not the original artwork, but something different. I like this because it fits with the, the slip with the whole oozing and melting on it. Great Australian horror flick, you know gooey body melting hmm. <laughs> all right next is another creature feature this one has brad Dourif and daniel baldwin in it found it cheap on ebay born of earth uh definitely a fun little creature feature it's very low budget but i'm surprised probably because they had to pay for brad Dourif and uh daniel baldwin and the rest of the one but it's all practical effects um uh, good blood good gore Fun flick. If you like creature features, you might like this one. I liked it. 
might be a review for the 31 days. Mm -hmm. Next was a Kickstarter for uh, cryptozoology uh, documentaries uh, from Small Town Monsters. Now, I have a couple of them. This was a Kickstarter that merged with another one from another film. This is the second one that they sent me. And that is the, the Bray Road Beast. That's like a dogman type thing through Wisconsin. So yeah, another uh, documentary on cryptozoology type creatures. So yeah, love that stuff. I have a couple other docs. They're pretty good. So if you like some of those documentaries on those, check out Small Town Monsters. Another one from Family Video. I own the first two. Grab the third one. Uh, Cabin Fever, Patient Zero. So why not? Another one from uh, Wild Eye. This actually looked interesting. Uh, it's got Casper Van Dien in it. And that's called Darkness Reigns. It looks like a demon type possession type film. Looks kind of fun. So I'll give this one to watch. Uh, I found this at Walmart. 2D and 3D. And of course I like my found footage movies. It's called found footage in 3D. It comes with a pair of 3D glasses. So you don't need a 3D TV or a 3D player to watch it. You can actually watch the glasses and they'll, it'll be 3D supposedly. Haven't done it, so I might actually do that. I might actually just watch it in 2D with the 3D glasses on. Because that's what it says on here. I was like, oh, okay, why not? And it does come with the glasses. And it says no special equipment needed, so why not? Found footage, it's, I think it's a film within a film. Who knows? Through Amazon, uh, Amazon Best Buy, I picked up Ghost Stories. Fucking sticker ruined my uh, slipcover. I hate it that when that happens. Looks like another anthology. I've heard some interesting stories on Ghost Stories. We'll see. Another found footage from Korea. Gonjim Haunted Asylum. I've been hearing good hype on this film. Uh, found it on Walmart, supposedly. Well, it was weird with the slip and everything. And uh, I guess it's a Korean found footage flick. So yeah, give this one to watch. Check it out. Again, been hearing really good hype on the film. Who knows? Another film from Family Video. Very glary. This is called Gray Matter. This is like a weird alien type creature feature. I don't know. I read the synopsis. And uh, they kidnap people to help fight other monsters, I guess. I don't know. But with the title alone, Grey Matter, I couldn't find this anywhere on <laughs> online, which was kind of weird. So I'm like, eh, for three bucks, I'll pick it up. If it's any good, if anybody's seen it, let me know. I just like the cover art. This funky alien on the cover. Hey, look, another creature feature. You know me, I love them. From 1995, <clears throat> uh, I wanted a single release. I know it's on a three-pack, but I wanted a separate. And it's called Grim. I remember renting this back in the day on VHS. Excuse me, fun creature feature about this giant ogre-like monster living in the ground uh, underneath a suburb. Comes up, snatch, starts snatching people. Of course, people have to go down to save their friends. Yeah, it's like a lot of practical effects going on. So yeah, grim. <laughs> Nothing to do with the, the grim stories, I don't think. Uh, I found this on eBay. <clears throat> Harpoon. Whale Watching Massacre. With a title like that, <laughs> I remember watching this a long time ago, and I didn't really like it, so since I'm older now, a little more mature, I'm going to give this one a watch again. Uh, I think it's a Finnish uh, harp, uh, whalers help a whale watching group while they're actually there to pick them off one at a time. Yeah. So yeah, I just saw the title alone. Harpoon Whale Watching Massacre. Sick title. I grabbed this because it was cheap. I heard this is based on a real story, real events. And that's the haunting in Connecticut. So I'm like, you know what? I've read a bunch about the uh, about these films. So I was like, you know what? For three bucks, I think I got it at Soundgarden. Why not? Alright, next up I picked up Hereditary. This was actually really good. Uh, really weird scenes happening in this film. The family's got all weird on it. There's one scene that just makes me question the family on what the hell they're doing. <laughs> but the little girl was pretty cool in this movie. Not a good dark twist to it. 
Uh, it was fun. It's a very slow burn type film. A lot of stuff doesn't happen much until near the end, but pretty cool flick. I'd highly recommend checking out Hereditary. You know what? I just did that. Hostile from uh, Walmart. I picked this up. It was like another creature feature where a woman on a scavenger mission, like in a post-apocalyptic, uh, gets attacked by a creature. And now it's after her. Why not? Give it a watch. I heard some interesting things on it. Uh, from another wild eye sent to me. <laughs> they send me a lot of stuff. Called Inhumanity. I guess the sla uh, serial killer type flick. So we'll give that one a watch. We'll see. My only steel book is, of course, Jurassic World, The Lost Kingdom. People bust my balls on, you know, is this if they horror movies or not, but guess what? To me, they are. So I decided, you know what, fucking, I'm grabbing the steel book. Uh, I don't have, I have the others in like a box set and in a round disc. So, what the hell, why not? I'll grab the steel book. And to me, yes, they are horror films. Next, another from FYE, found the good old red case. And of course, it is Amando Macabro, uh, Lady Terminator. Found this for seven bucks at FYE. So what the hell? Why not? I'll grab it, cause you never know what Mondos. You see them there. A lot of times they're out of print. With this copy though, you can find it pretty cheap on Amazon for like twelve bucks. If you can, I recommend grabbing it because you never know with Mondos. Sometimes they're gone, and then all of a sudden they're through the roof for their pricing. So yeah, who knows? Maybe this will become a Blu-ray. I don't know, but. This is a uh, blind buy for me, reading the synopsis on it. It sounds pretty fun. I uh, picked up uh, Lake Placid, Final Chapter. You know, I love my Killer Croc films. And I picked up, of course, Lake Placid Legacy. I just realized I don't own Part 3, so i got to make a mental note and pick up Part 3. Uh, another sci-fi channel flick. Well, the CGI is pretty bad, but it's a fun turn-your-brain-off Killer Croc movie. Through uh, Artsploitation from the Netherlands. They actually sent me this, which is kind of weird. And that is a... It's called Molly. It was like a supernatural sci-fi thriller type film. Gotta get this one to watch. I heard interesting things on it. Through Dustin Mills. Uh, this was limited to like 50 copies, I think. Unfortunately, it's not numbered, so I can't tell. But it's called Ouija uh, Blood Ritual. Uh, it's signed and everything, so I said, you know what, with Dustin, with, uh, Dustin Wade the Mills films, they go pretty quick. So I said, you know what, let me grab this one now, or I'll be kicking myself. It looks, it sounds pretty badass, so yeah. Found this at F4, uh, no, Soundgarden. Still sealed for used price for 7 bucks, and that's Pacific Rim 3D with the statue. The discs are in the back. In this cool clear case. It comes with the 3D disc, the Blu-ray, and the DVD. I'm gonna have this on display. I just love the way I love it. Well, the way it looks, I always wanted this version. So I bought another copy, but bought this version instead. So I'm very happy to own the statue edition of Pacific Rim. That will go on the shelf. Uh, for review, they gave me a party night. Uh, supposedly it's an 80s throwback slasher. Not an 80s throwback slasher. It's pretty much just a basic slasher. Nothing really ooh-ah about it. So, yeah. Through uh, Walmart, another creature feature. Had to grab it because, I don't know, just the way the title alone sounded cool. The trailer looks interesting with some practical effects and some CGI. And, of course, it's Predator World. Yeah, this is... Uh, <clears throat> Through Wild Eye itself, and I think this is a, um, who did this? David, a David Sterling flick. But again, you know, Predator came out. Let's have a ripoff of the Predator type movies. Eh, what the hell. Maybe it's a fun turn your brain off film. Picked, of course, Puppet Master. Um, this is The Littlest Reich. I've seen this before. I loved it. Couldn't wait for this to get come out. So I found the Blu-ray pretty cheap, grabbed it, love it. It's not a remake, it's, a, it's like its own separate film. A lot of fun, a lot of good kill, kills, tons of kills. <clears throat> Picked up uh, Razin, or a Raisin, I don't know how I'm saying it right, 
but this is supposedly the actual sequel to Ringu. And uh, I said, you know what? I don't own this one. Let me grab it and see how it is. I found it dirt cheap online. Who knows? So, of course, I didn't have it. I picked up Ringu 2. So now I have all the Ringu movies. In fact, I think I have all the ring Rings and Ringu movies. So I finally picked up the last one I needed. Let's see how that one is. I still haven't seen those. I've... I've seen Ringu, of course, and of course Ring, and the Americanized ones. I'm not going to finish off the Asian ones. Speaking of Asian, Turn Asian Extreme, uh, the Red Shoes, sorry for the glare. It's like another ghostly type film, but it has to do with these red shoes that, yeah, I think they kill people or they get possessed and somehow they die accidental deaths or something. I found it uh, cheap online, so I snagged it. Uh, from Code Red, I uh, never owned it, but I like Red Dorif, and this is by Toby Hooper, and of course it's Spontaneous Combustion. Heard a rumor it's going out of print, so if I can know what, let me jump on the bandwagon, pick it up. <clears throat> Grabbed uh, The Summer of 84. Heard some really good things about this movie. Unfortunately, this is a Burn on Demand Blu-ray. If I can get it out, come on. Getting pressed for time. So yeah, it's a burn on demand, blue, but again, I heard some good stuff about it, so I snagged it. So yeah, summer of 84, upgrade, snagged the Swarm on Blu-ray from Warner Archive Collection, got rid of my good old snapper case, oh, I hate snapper cases, so I, that was a definitely must, uh, through eBay, not eBay, another Amazon, fuck, Walmart. <clears throat> That's called Trench 11. I've been hearing some good things about this film. So you know what? Let me pick it up. You never know. Could be good. It could suck. Another Walmart. I did pick up this version of Truth or Dare. This was actually better than the Blumhouse one. Uh, I think this was another made-for-TV movie. It could have been a sci-fi channel film. I don't know for sure. But I actually enjoyed this one more than the Blumhouse edition, which was uh, annoying. This was actually watchable. And last was, I found this at FYE, out of print, snagged it really quick because I was surprised to see it. And that is When a Stranger Calls Back. I don't own the When a Stranger Calls, so I gotta pick up those. But I decided, you know what, grab this one now because this one's out of print. And you know, someone's gonna grab it and you're gonna come back and you're gonna kick yourself for not picking it up. So of course I've grabbed the sequel to when a stranger calls so yeah <clears throat> all right everybody that's it for my end of the month haul for the month of september uh there's some that got lost in the post uh someone got to reorder and someone got to contact some sellers because they haven't mailed it or it's still in the process of getting here so that's how it works in this uh, line of collecting you just get to wait on others to send it and all that fun shit but again I hope you enjoyed my uh, haul, guys. Again, please stay tuned. Pretty soon I'll be doing my 31 Days of Horror, a review a day for 31 days. That's going to be a lot of fun. So again, second time doing it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And also, if you've seen these movies and I have not, please put some comments down below. Again, I love reading comments and responding to them. So please do, guys. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy it, guys. Thanks for again. Peace.